All right, good morning. Good morning, yogis. Uh, let's start as we do seated. Uh, take some time to center in and prepare for practice. So comfortable seat, arrange yourself as you wish. Soften the shoulders. Ease through the throat. Ease through the muscles of the face the jaw, the temples, the forehead. And breathe in to the completeness of the lungs. And breathe out to empty. And without expectation, let this be the practice. So I don't have any sort of number in mind of what it must be. Just your own sense of completeness on the in-breath and completeness on the out-breath. Let the internal gaze rest in a fixed point. Tip of the nose is nice up to third eye or into the heart. Align your spine so that the vertebrae are stacked. And I know for me, I'm at that spot when I can feel engagement of all the muscles around my 360 core. And so I don't just feel my belly. I don't just feel my back. I don't just feel my hips. I feel everything come into a small degree of effort. Because as we stack the spine, we need less and less energy to hold it. Right? When we misalign, bending, reach, leaning forward or back, we take a little more stressor on the system. So see if you can find that spot as you, again, just breathe it in, completeness for you and emptiness for you. With the eyes closed, let's add some movement. Match the pacing of the movement with the breath. So inhale, the arms sweep up, as long as that inhale lasts. Exhale, pull them right through heart center, and then reach them wide again. Inhale, they sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart, right through the midline, and then release wide. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale again, passing right through midline. Two more, reaching up. And pass into a midline. Reaching up. And passing through midline. And reaching up. Holding this one. Hands to prayer. In fact, let the thumbs connect to the heart as well. This touch point. And bow the head in service to the heart. Thank yourself for showing up this morning and reaffirm your sankalpa, your personal intention, that which is serving for both guide and inspiration of your practice, guide and inspiration for your life. When complete, thumbs to third eye. And then the arms extend and the eyes open. Release the hands. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, side bend right. Lifting up, side bend left. All right, reach for some corners here. Exhale, reaching for corner. Inhale up. Exhale, reaching for corner. 
we're going to have a pretty vigorous flow this morning in that the pacing is going to continue, right? So not that the poses are going to be particularly, meet me in the middle, eagle wrap those arms, right elbow into left. The poses may not be particularly challenging on their own, but we're going to keep pace. I'm gonna work a nice tempo and build some heat in the body this morning. Inhale, elbows up, exhale, elbows down. Inhale, elbows up, exhale, elbows down. Inhale, elbows up, and then exhale, leave them there, okay? And then from here, we're gonna take and rotate the arms to the hands to the left and the right ear to the right shoulder. And then inhale, center that all out. Undo and take the hands behind. Keep the thumbs towards the ground and just press the hands back. Press the hands back, press the hands back, press the hands back. And the palms are still pressing towards each other. Right? That magnetic attraction, not linking the hands. I know you could. Keep the fingers spread reaching back and press them towards each other. The palms are pressing towards each other. Palms press, palms press, palms press. And then inhale, sweep them up again. Exhale, left elbow under right. So left under right, oh, how about oh, left under right? I already forgot, here we go, left under right. Yeah, there we go, we're in it, okay. Inhale, elbows up, exhale, elbows down. Inhale, elbows up, exhale, elbows down. Inhale, elbows up, exhale, elbows down. Nice, inhale, elbows up, leave them there. And then here, we're gonna take the hands and pivot them towards the right and then drop the left ear down. I'm not trying to lift the shoulders, trying to lift the elbows. The shoulders are still staying in their position. Working a little more external rotation, got more intense on that right shoulder, at least for me it did. And then dropping the left ear. Really coming through that whole right side chain from the ear down through the neck, down through the shoulder and out through the hands. Breathing in and out. And then release, come on out. All right, again, take the hands, press them wide. Okay, press them wide. And this time, we're gonna go ahead and take them back, 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 and then turn the back of the hands towards each other. So turning the back of the hands towards each other. And then if you found yourself getting into some sort of round body, see what you can do to neutralize that without puffing up the chest, right? Without beginning to back bend. Right? And I'm working this hand position for a reason. Now the back of the hands are trying to squeeze together and the palms are trying to pull apart. Same time. Stay with this co-contraction, squeezing back of the hands, pressing hands wide. Two more breaths. Reaching arms down. Straightening out through the elbows. And then release. Awesome. Little shoulder rolls. And then let's warm up the hips. And we're gonna do our 90-90, just get some nice rotation and movement in the hips. You can do that on your back, you can do that seated, you can do that seated upright. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it in three levels myself. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start down and then work my way upright. If you'd like to can stay down the whole time, stay down the whole time. Okay, knees are bent, feet are wide, here we go. Just wash them out, right? preparing those hips. Nothing's rushed. Drop and then one side and then the other. Let's do one more round, inhaling and exhaling. And then this would be my next level, right? You wanna level up a little bit? Here we go, we're gonna come either onto the elbows. I'm gonna start elbows. Awesome. And then we're gonna take it to hands. So this is our partial, right? We had our full back and now we're at our partial support. And then we're gonna keep coming upright, sitting on top, and then see about maybe no hands, right? Little tension in the system with the arms out in front. Turn, 
and we work the side body so we should be nice and ready for a little twisting so next time you drop those legs over to the left rotate it to the left and then back to the center lift it up drop the knees first and then rotate body to right back to center let's do that one more time over rotate center out then lift the legs rotate them rotate the body center out and meet here inhale pull the toes towards you pull the heels towards you and you're working to sit up really tall right i like to think there's an out of reach and i gotta pull it to help myself stay upright nice little anchor and then inhale take the right arm overhead and take the left arm out to the side we're working some strong balance here so we've got one arm up one arm out you can make fists or reach to the fingers up to you press back reach up keep the toes turning on lots of engagement here and then release the hands to neutral again pull yourself forward shoulders down the back let's take the left arm up here and that right arm out pressing back pulling up ribs in and maybe extending through fingers reaching soften the shoulders stay in width three two and then release them back exhale hollow and lower all the way onto your back all right taking the legs up here draw the knees in rock and roll yourself from side to side relaxing the toes take both legs over to the left little spinal twist here knees tuck heels can begin to extend out and away from the hips reach back with that right arm left hand if it's free maybe draws that left hip a little bit away from you and then head to center first let's tuck those knees in bring them on up and we're going to take the legs over to the right and again maybe extending the toes out a little bit rolling back through that left arm reaching it up towards the upper left corner of the room or your mat left hip pushes away And keep lengthening through that left side of the body. One more breath. And then no need to come back. Just take your right arm overhead and let's flip it and come on to hands and knees. Coming up and around to hands and knees. Inhale, breathe into cow shape. Exhale, breathe into cat shape. Inhale, breathe into cow shape exhale breathe into cat shape inhale pulling the mat towards your knees exhale pressing ground away inhale neutral tuck the toes this time and lift the knees down dog waking up the backs of the legs i know we turn them on in the seated work but let's stretch them out All right so walking that dog out let the head hang maybe release a little more neck tension with gentle shakes or nods and then open up the feet so they're a good hip distance or a little wider apart awesome balls of the feet lift take the heels to the right and balls of the, uh, on the balls of the feet heels lift take the heels to the left let's do that two more times heels to the right up heels to the left one more time plenty of space for those feet to line up right so not too tight not too close and then center yourself out and bend both knees here bending both knees staying with try to rotate those shoulders away from each other right and press back and then with the balls of the feet as you straighten out the legs you got a couple actions that's happening the balls of the feet are going to try to rip my mat back behind me and at the same time they're pushing down to lift my sits bones up so i'm getting this nice stretch as i lift my hips and try to pull my mat back two more breaths
Nice, inhale onto toes, bend knees, look forward, and walk your way, step your way, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, extension of that spine. Lengthen from crown to tail, pull the ribs in. Exhale, fold, releasing down. And then inhale, wide swoop up. Exhaling, hands to heart. Breathing here. Little more weight on the heels than the toes. And this will be our return, right? Our return to this place, this space. Inhale, arms reach wide. Exhale, bow to the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, hands down, right leg steps back, runner's lunge, lengthening out. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg rising, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot steps in, tuck in, plant at top of the mat. Inhale, runner's lunge. And then exhale, press off, lift up that left leg, step to the top of the mat. Half, one long exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it up, reach it up. Nice, exhale, bow down. Left side will lead this time. Inhale, half. Exhale, hands down. Let's take that left leg back where we just were. Inhale, really purposefully lengthen from heel to crown. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, tuck it in. Look where you're going, foot between the hands. Take a breath, and then on your exhale, you're pressing off with that right leg, lift it high. Inhale, half, top of the mat. Exhale, full. Inhale, sweep it up. And then exhale, hands to heart. Our return. Inhale, reach the arm. Exhale, again, we fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, folding, right leg steps back. Inhale, again, runner's lunge. Roll the shoulders back, lengthen through the crown, right? Hands to blocks if I want more space. Help me with the step through as well. And then exhale again, down dog. This time layering on a plank pose. Exhale back to down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right foot top of the mat. Again, those blocks will give you tons of space to set that foot forward. Breath in here. And then exhale, we join again. Left foot to the top. Inhale, half. Exhale, full. Inhale, wide swoop up. Exhale, bow down. Hinging at the hips, pelvis rolls. Inhale, half. Exhale, full. We're gonna step back this time with the left leg. Inhale, lengthen through. Exhale, down dog. Layering on our plank pose, shift it forward. And then exhale it back. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, tuck it in. Step. Breath. Push off. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, hands to heart. Be here. Inner thighs rotate back. Outer hips hug in. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, bow to the earth. Inhale, extend through the heart. Exhale, hands plant, right leg steps back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee down, sweep the arms up. Low lunge, Andre and Asana. Pull that front heel towards you. Pick up the front hip bones. Turn on the glutes. Gaze up. And then exhale, hands to front thigh, bend the knee deeper. Knee going beyond toe, but still that sense of pulling back heel to front knee. Uh, <laughs> how about front heel to back knee, and back knee to front heel. Press away rather than dump into it. I love what this setup and this um, variation of low lunge does for the inner thigh muscles. 
and those longer lines of the inner more hip flexor muscles as we prepare then to come into our warriors. Okay, come on out. Let's step back to our down dog. Up and back, there's your dog. Okay, we're layering this time from plank into chaturanga, broad collarbone shifting forward and then back from plank to down dog. All right, inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, tuck it in, pull it in, step. Again, we're just gonna step to the top of the mat as we've done. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it up. And then exhale, we're coming down for the opposite side. Inhale, half. Exhale, full. Let's take that left leg back, long, long line, and then set the knee down. Inhale, you're up, low lunge, hands to heart. And again, we're working to stabilize through the hips, through the action of the front foot and the back leg. And then we're gonna play with some depth moving forward, bend the knee deep. Same action is happening here. Passing away. Thinking of my back left inner thigh rotating up. Two more breaths. Soften those front ribs. And then lift it out. Down dog. Inhale, again, we layer forward and then through chaturanga and then up and back. Left leg lifts high, left leg steps to the top of the mat, tucking it in, look where you're going, right leg will join. Inhale, half, exhale, full. Inhale, sweep it up and let's meet again, Tadasana. Palms press, inner thighs rotate, front hip bones lift, and release the arms, breathe it in. Exhale, fold, inhale, half. Exhale, full, step back, right leg. Inhale, lengthen forward, coming up, crescent lunge. And then exhale, rolling that back heel a little more forward, bending the elbows. Cactus arms, opening up the heart. Inhale up, and then lift up, draw the back heel down, warrior two, warrior two. Nice wide wingspan, but yet everything's also, the legs are trying to come together, the heart is reaching wide, the arms are reaching wide, gaze to front middle finger. Breathe in, and then exhale, cartwheel it out. Step it back just to plank this time. Shift it forward, chaturanga, and then we're coming down. Inhale, lifting up, low cobra. Exhale, continue through, up dog. Take a breath, and then take it back to down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Bend the knee and open up the hip this time. Strong on the left. Strong through both hands. Inhale, lengthen the right straight, tuck it in, pull it in, foot between the hands. Connect these sides, we're lifting up here for our crescent. That back heel is gonna roll in a little bit, maybe the knee bends even, or maybe it bends a lot. And then we're taking that up and carrying it up into, right? that chain is coming up and then out through the crest, up through the bent elbow, crescent back bend. Inhale up, lift a bit out, spiraling that back heel down, right? So you got all that space to move thigh bone in hip joint. And again, wide wingspan, open heart from the shoulder blades in the back and the front, but the heels are working towards each other. One more breath in here, and then cartwheel the arms out. Plank pose again. 
Plank pose will take us to Chaturanga. Chaturanga will bring us to the mat. Okay, low cobra, holding, firm the tail, up dog, pausing, and then down dog. Take the left leg up here, right? Left leg lifts up, bend the knee and open up the hip. Inhale, lengthen out the left leg. Exhale, tuck it in, round it in. Foot between the hands. And this time we join, right foot joins the left. Inhale, half. Exhale, full fold. Right, inhale, sweep up, and we return here to the Dasana for a single round of breath. Let those fingers spread wide. You can lengthen out, pinky, ring, index, middle, and thumb. And then inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, we're gonna step back left leg first this time. Sweeping up to the crescent. Going right into the open heart, bends elbow back then. And then inhale, lift up, exhale, right back to warrior two. Flip the front arm, right, rotating palm up. And the back hand, rotate palm down and around, bring it behind the small of the back. Maybe it finds the front thigh. And then sweep in, reverse warrior two, little half bind. Option to cup and cradle the head. Elbow moves to center if you're choosing that option. And then inhale, straighten the front leg. If that left hand is there, let it support, flipping the hip back and reach long forward for a power trikonasana. And if this is not comfortable to hold, you've got blocks, you've got a shin, you've got a floor, bring the hand down. Rotating up towards the ceiling. And then inhale, lift up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, sweep that back heel, return to crescent, rotation there. One more breath, and then exhale. Let's take it to chaturanga. Stepping back, finding that shift forward, and then ride into up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, inhale, let's start with the left leg up this time. And then exhale, just step that left foot between the hands. All right, crescent rising, breathing in, ride into the back bend. Inhale, lengthen out, lift out, exhale, right to warrior two. Same, same, we're flipping the hands. Front arm rotates up, back hand rotates in, around, and comes behind the small of the back, perhaps finding that front thigh. Inhale, reverse. Right. Again, maybe choosing to cradle, depending on the day. I really enjoy the support here and the ability to just let my head weight go. Puff up the chest, long shoulders away. And then inhale again, as we come out, using, if that hand is there, we're clipping the hip back. Long reach forward, right, long reach forward. And then from here, again, working our rotation, right shoulder back. Beautiful, inhale. Coming out, exhale. Rotating back to crescent, pivoting around. Breath here, exhale, hands down. Again, to chaturanga, into up dog, and then back into down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot, top of the mat. Left leg joints. Inhale, half. Exhale, full. Inhale, sweep it up, reach it up. Exhale, hands to Tadasana. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, half. Exhale, full. Step back with the right leg. Running through again, we're crescent. And then open heart. Inhale, lift it up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior two. Exhale, shifting forward, trikonasana. Inhale, coming up, reverse trikonasana. So pushing back hip forward, front hip 
up. Nice. And then exhale, coming through. Lateral angle. So front knee bends and then reaching forward consistently with that left arm, right arm overhead. Hips, instead of lifting up, see about them moving forward and down. Shoulder and, and knee can press into each other. And that's really the knee pushing more towards the shoulder. Or we can take alternatively arm to the outside and work connection there as well. Inhale, lifting back heel, rotating around runner's lunge. Exhale, step it back, plank pose. Inhale, shift, lower chaturanga, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So everything there, we're going now on the right leading forward. So let's step forward with the right foot. Inhale, lifting up, cross up. Exhale, that bit of a back bend. Inhale, coming up and out, rotating, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior two. Exhale, shifting forward, trikonasana. Inhale, coming up, reverse trikonasana, hips moving forward. And then exhale, again, we're bending the back, bending the front knee, continuing the reach forward, getting lower here. Hand to the inside again, shoulder and knee connection, lengthen the right side, scooping right buttocks under. Right? or hand to the outside and press here. Right. I always like hand to the inside to help with my rotation. And I like hand to the outside to really turn on those outer hip muscles. Nice. From here, rotating into runners, lifting that back heel, pivoting around. Nice, let's step back, planks to chaturanga. Up dog, and then down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet here, and let's take a moment in a squat. Heels are down, knees are bending, sitting. I'm gonna try to keep the knees from going wide. Arms can reach forward, arms can hug in, arms can go up, lifting the chest. I know we've been working this really posturally lately, I'm just doing it right now, right? I've got the weight in my heels. I'm doing my best to lift my chest up, right? And then hover a little bit out, hover a little bit out. Awesome, and then come right back down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, forward fold down. Look to the top of the mat, walk it out, and run through a vinyasa of your choice here, right? Anyone you want or just hold it. From here, right leg lifts up. We're gonna bend the knee, open up the hip, and then continue into flipping, up and over. Really lengthening the front body. Yeah, you can cradle the head here too. Coming back towards our side plank, right? So pivot to the side plank, and then whatever you'd like to do with that right leg, tree foot on the ground leg stacked all good we're all going to end with foot on the ground i'll just tell you that now so with control if you're not there already pick up and place that right foot on the ground and it's about in line with my hip right inhale push now press use your right foot use the nice edge of the back foot and really lift up through the hips Take that right arm to the ground. Think about a rainbow shape of the body. And then exhale, rotate around. And you're in like the tiniest warrior one, right? Just a really tiny little warrior one. And we're gonna make this into a pyramid. So don't worry that the stance is so small, right? Both legs are straight now. Front hip clips back, lengthening down, pyramid front leg. Inhale, just half lift, lengthen your torso, and then drop right back down the leg again. So torso lengthens, and then right back down. Notice if you have more weight on the heel of your front foot, right? 
the toes gripping of your front foot, or if you're all resting in the back foot. Work to find balance there. Inhale, one more time, lengthen through the torso. And then we're gonna use this to step into a warrior three. And we're doing warrior three the hard way. So it's tricky because one, if possible, you'll see if you can step into a straight leg on the front. That doesn't work with your joints. Don't even attempt, it's all good. Bend the knee and, and pop up into it. So we've got that, that's a little more challenging. And then two, we're gonna try to pick up our hands off the blocks or off the ground and lift the chest further. So you can, by all means, step up and into it like floating or join me, front straight leg. I can use blocks if I want, hands, whatever I forgot. And then I'm trying to shift into my front straight leg, back leg lifts. So the legs remain straight. And then from there, keep picking up the chest, arms back, palms to the sky. Hold, three, whoop two beautiful and then bend the front leg See if you can hover bent knee warrior three and then with care we're stepping back warrior one inhale nice breathing in exhale right hand comes behind the back here bending the elbow is nice or you can lengthen it down and find the opposite leg left arm turns and we're taking exalted warrior, right? So we're coming into a reverse warrior one. Again, I can cradle that head. Lifting through the sternum because my spine is lifting up into it. And exhale, coming down, left hand down. Left heel lifts and we're just doing a nice little revolved runners. Exhale, right hand down. We're gonna wash it all out. Vinyasa of your choice here, step it back. Exhale, we come to our down dog. All right, same shebang, other side. Let's take the left leg up, bend the knee, opening up the hips, and then flipping that dog up and over. Right. Really, again, lifting up through the heart, lengthening front body. Maybe supporting head. And then we're gonna turn this into our side plank, right? And that side plank had all sorts of options of what you might like to do with the left leg, for starters. And then we're all gonna see about setting down that left foot right right about my hip line here right and then push push the feet into the ground push the right hand into the ground and then take the left arm and maybe we make a big rainbow bend try not to lose the hips nice and then rotating around center pivoting back heel down inhale coming up again the shortest little warrior one when we're straightening it out and we're making this our pyramid. So here my heels either align or they're a little wider apart. Back toes turn forward as much as they need to. Coming in left thumb, left hip crease and hinging forward, lengthening down. And a little weight into that front foot. Feel how the hips shimmy forward and back. And that's going to be pretty important, especially if you're trying that straight leg step into three. You wanna be able to have some freedom here within the hips and that control of where that's going. Keep lengthening the torso. We took a few breaths, really going belly to heart long to drop down the leg. And then here we go, joining me for a warrior three, however you wanna get there. I'm stepping in, front leg straight, back leg straight and then shifting chest forward, and then the arms will lift too. Palms to the sky, thumbs hugging towards each other or towards the side of the body. And lift them up and get more into that, you can. Bend the standing leg if possible, let the arms counterbalance in front now, really long. And then we're stepping back to our warrior one. Okay. Warrior one. <laughs> Front knee bent, again, 
doing our best to square forward, but really I'm concerned about my shoulders squaring my hip. We don't need to overly crank the system of um, the hips to come around. They're gonna go as much as they can, okay? And then we came into exalted here. So we're taking now the left arm, as we've been doing, we're rotating it in, bringing it behind, right? Or extending long down the leg. The upper arm rotates in as well. And there's the exalted, or you did the cradle. Couple of breaths, try to keep that front knee bent, bent and strong on the outer back foot. Nice, and then inhale, making your way up. Exhale, going down. Right hand comes down, back leg steps back, and we're lifting up just to stretch that out in a nice rotation here, opening to the left side. Push the earth away. And then two hands down, plank pose. Chaturanga, up dog, knees down, child's pose. Arm position, what works for you? Leg position, what works for you? So if you want your knees real wide right now, you want them close together, you want fingertips, blocks, tucked in, hands back, totally up to you. We're gonna be here just for about three breaths as we prepare to transition to some work on our backs on the floor. So think about harnessing your energy. Letting go of the extra. Getting just what you need. All right, pressing up. Okay, transitioning onto the floor. Let's grab our blocks. I wanna try a little alasa. Let's see about lifting up and sending those legs through. So we worked our nice little tight package of our squat and that sense of really pulling the thighs in, hollowing and sending the hips down and back is the same thing that we're gonna do to begin to create this, uh, this shape, this hold, okay? So I'm working those deep hip flexor muscles. I'm gonna have my blocks, whichever height I need, and I'm gonna bring my blocks so they're Really, you can see like mid thigh, right? They're not too close up by my knees and they're definitely not back by my hips, okay? And I'm gonna bring my hands onto them, okay? So not only am I lifting up, but I'm also thinking about my hips hollowing and maybe beginning to tilt forward a little bit rather than tilting under, okay? So coming up, little fold, here's my package. I'm feeling like I was in my squat right here. I need to scoop my belly in from my squat, arms hug in, right? And then here we go. We're gonna see about pressing up and lifting up the package. Up, three, two, and release down. Awesome. Let's do that one more time and see if we can send the legs through, okay? Note, your blocks have three heights. Feel free to tune them up as long as they feel stable, okay? All right, think of the heels and the hips gluing towards each other as well. So here we go, coming to the fold. I'm gonna take a little breath here. I'm gonna exhale, draw my navel to my spine, and then at that hold space, Uddiyana Bandha, hollow, right? Hollow scoop, the hollow scoop is when you lift. Exhaling, pelvic floor lifts, hollow it out, and then lift it up. Three, two, one, cross, Three, hold L, two, and release down, one. Awesome. Okay, down to our backs. And we're gonna have a little fun with shapes here. Okay, again, I said we weren't doing really any crazy poses today. Um, but we have been working consistently challenged, right? In tempo and effort. So we're gonna continue that just a little bit longer. And take the arms out, T like Tom. 
And then we're gonna take the arms overhead. Beautiful. Bend the knees. Lift the knees and extend the legs up. Now take the hands up too, reaching. And then from here, we're gonna come into crescent lunge. <laughs> crescent lunge on your back, right? So I'm having a right foot forward crescent lunge. So my right foot comes forward, my left leg comes out and I'm trying to get my right heel over my foot. There's my crescent lunge, flipped, yeah? Awesome. Now, inhale, reach back up. Exhale, warrior two. Right leg still leads. Turn the right leg out, left leg away. Open the arms, warrior two. Still working this right knee bent, right arm out. They can hover, they can rest, up to you. Reaching back with the left, reaching, rotating with the right and then close it on up. Okay, warrior one, left leg lead, right leg away. So here we go, pulling in and pressing out and away. My warrior one front leg, my warrior one back leg. Arms again can rest or be lifted. And then back to the center. And then warrior two, turn out of the right leg, extension, um, rotation inward, sorry, of the right, turn out of the left, open the arm, legs, arms wide, legs wide, working to bend and track best I can, left ankle over left knee, little internal rotation of the back leg, that's my warrior two, and then back to center. Awesome. Let's go quicker now through those, okay? We're going to see if we can go breath by breath. So here we begin. All right, inhale, right leg in, warrior one, arms overhead, Oop, up. And then warrior two, rotating out. And then all the way back to the top. Left leg lead, warrior one. And then create the space, out, warrior two. And then back up. Now, warrior one, right leg lead. Warrior two, right leg lead. Bringing it back in, warrior two, left leg, warrior one, left leg lead. Warrior two, left leg. And then right back in. Nice, now let the arms just open up and take the legs and begin to just circle them around in any kind of fashion that works, right? You have the same sense of control that the movement is being stabilized by your center. The legs just aren't wildly flailing. Maybe they're gonna cross over this time, carrying their weight, and let the movement be right for you. If you wanna add the arms, begin to get the arms coming out too. Again, the body is fixed, just the limbs are moving. Beautiful. And then, Hug it in and release it down. Take the feet wide, let the knees knock into each other. There's probably a um, pretty good chance that the small of the back was down into the mat in all of those. So take care, just breathe into your natural neutral spine, lengthening through the sits bones, the pelvis is neutral. Breathing into really the expansion of the belly, the ribs, all that center core that was fixed and controlled and tensing to support all that movement. Just let it really be as free to expand and contract with the breath as you can. Awesome. Now let's stretch that out with a bridge. Arms down, pick up the hips up. And just let all that front side lengthen. If you wanna grab a block and pop it underneath and make it a supported bridge that you'd like to just hang out with, um, I love that too. Put the block underneath and possibly lengthen out the legs. 
make sure that if you're choosing that option, there's no feeling of pinching in the lower back. Whichever you're choosing, we're gonna take three more breaths. So if you've been still in your bridge, you wanna come down and come back up, that's all good. Keep looking to lengthen through those points from the rib cage to the middle of the thigh. And then go ahead and bend the knees, lift those hips and remove the block. This time let's take the feet into a butterfly, knees wide. And if you like your props, we'll do knees on blocks, blankets, or pillows. With the arms find a complementary position of the wing spread. So maybe out like a Y, the elbows again, the T or the overhead, but just open them up. Notice if your natural inclination is just to puff up and come into more um, back bendy feel. And if so, try to neutralize that. If you're opposite and your normal is to be a tuck under small, the back into the mat, even in this position, neutralize it. And taking three more breaths. Is anything you want to adjust or try differently? And then we'll guide the knees back up. All right, again, we'll quick bridge, just realign, so just pick it up and lower through. Let's take the left ankle and cross it over the right thigh. And we're gonna twist. Left foot comes over to the right. Right hand maybe finds that left ankle. Left knee presses away from you. Right knee pulls in towards you. And then roll the body over to the right side. Take that left heel and bend the knee and bring it back so that the knee and the hip align. And we're gonna see about coming into um, our lightning bolt from here. So I'm gonna try to roll right into this position as my legs look at such the knees will be together. Left heel is tucked back in, I'm just gonna be on my back. So I'm gonna go ahead and see about coming on over. My hand is helping, keeping my knee there and lifting and back in. Similarly, you could come into the position from a seated, rolling to the side, bend the knee, tuck it back in and then lower down from the top. Nice extended lightning bolt, trying to work balance in the left and right hip. Trying to keep that Left knee down. Just take your right foot and help that out. I don't like the extra tension in the system here, right? Where I'm trying to just really be in it. I'd like having the right leg ground, but some people really love that extra. So it's totally up to you. You can bend it out and find it that way. It tends to pull me out of alignment, so I stick here. All right, bend the right leg as you need here though, because we're gonna roll back to the right side. 
bringing the left knee in, right? So we're gonna clear that out and then come on back, two legs down, right? Crossing right ankle over left leg, right? And then we're gonna take it over and give a grab, pressing right knee back, working right hip towards the ground, right arm reaching back. And again, I can use my bottom leg pulling in towards me. So I've got this grounding of the left knee coming towards me as the right knee pushes away. And breathing here. Again, really trying to pare down the engagement. So I'm trying to use less and less as we come into these more yin-like holds. Think of letting the muscles relax and softening from deeper tissue closer to the bone. Okay, so we're gonna take that roll to lightning bolt here too. So I'm just gonna take my left arm out, roll to the left side, right? And then from here, I can take my right leg, bend the knee, heel towards the bum, right? There's a good, good idea. If I can do this sideline, then maybe I can do it on my back. If I can't do this sideline, then I'm gonna wanna come up seated and figure it out a different way. So I'm then just rolling over on my side, flipped out of the way. My knee was closed, trying to move my knee closed gently so there's no twist or tweak and working my right hip down. Again, too intense. Then I'm coming from my side. I'm gonna see what can happen and I'm gonna lean into it. I'm going to grab my block and I'm going to sit up as high as I need to to create this space. I'm going to lean back on my hands. And come back onto elbows. Or you found yourself just rolling to the side. Working to keep the right leg down, maybe you like that left, that opposite leg grounding it. Trying to relax the front rib cage. Two more breaths here. And then you're either rolling sideways or coming back up. If I'm rolling sideways, bend the left leg, use it. Use the foot to roll out and extend out. All right, again, just a little bridge to reset and then lengthen out. Palms up, release the jaw, the throat, the teeth, the tongue. <sighs> Sigh it out, yawn it out, settle yourself in for Shavasana. If you preferred seated meditation, feel free to obviously go right to that. I'm gonna lead through a Shavasana this morning, enjoying this nice connection to the earth back of the head and back of the arms, shoulders, balance, hips, thighs, soft kneecaps, soft feet. Find another yawn. Let the mouth stay gently open. And tune in to the rise and fall of your belly. I'll wake you when it's time. Please enjoy this final pose.
to wake the body. Increase your breath rhythm. Begin to move. Stretch is yawn about. Bend the legs, tuck it in. A little bit of back massage, rocking side to side. Roll yourself over to your favorite side. Pause there. And press yourself up as we sit to close. Hands at heart. Repeat your intention. Visualize a way that you'll take it into the day. Specific instance, what can you do? Take it with you. Thank you each. May you reap the rewards. Tashmanishri Gurudev Namaha. Namaste.